Hi there, it's Stephanie, and here you can see a memory game that I've built in Storyline, and I wanted to share it out with you guys uh, as a template that you can use. I'll provide the source code and a link to a live demo as well. And just in the screener, quickly go through how I built it, and then if there's any other conversation or questions, we can always discuss that in the forums. So the memory game shows by default an image here of a beach scene, and the concept is that there's going to be some birds that are flying by for them to be specific, and you have to remember the location of where each of these birds were. If you can remember the location of all four birds, then you win a prize, and in this case the prize is a photograph of that bird, and you can put that photograph inside of your bird book, and um, you'll see that uh, the bird book is designed to collect eight photographs of different birds. So you can conceivably have other exercises that are similar in nature so that the student can collect that information. Now this is kind of elementary. You can, um, for adult learning, you may be you may switch stuff up. You may be collecting stamps that go into a passport or it could be clues that are part of a case study or what have you. Anyway, so I'm going to start this. The bird's going to start flying flying around here. I don't know if you saw this, but uh, let's say I didn't. And uh, over in the left-hand corner, I think there was a bird there. And it says, nope, nope, there's no bird. Try again. All right, there was one there. One about there. Put there, I think down in the corner here. Yep. So there's four different birds. I, I've won a prize. I get to go to my bird book. And here's the photo that uh, that I won. Eagle has landed. Now I can just click on my book and insert it in, and I'm done. And you can see there I have to collect seven more birds to complete whatever it is that, that I'm working on here. So that's the way it works. Now let's go over to Storyline and show you how I built it very quickly. So there's two slides. Both slides have multiple layers in them. In this case, I have a base layer called Memory Game that has the instructions and the Start button. The Start button just jumps over to the Birds layer. And then the other two layers will display depending on what you do. So if you do the right things, it'll display the correct layer. If you do the wrong things, it's going to display the incorrect layer. So the birds layer is the exercise. And in this case, all I did was I inserted four copies of an eagle and four copies of a check mark, placed them in different locations, and then made their initial state hidden. So by default, states are in normal view, but I changed it to be hidden so that the user will not see that unless there's an event that causes it to be seen. The, then I also created four different hotspots and each hotspot uh, behaves the same way. You can see on the right hand side it plays a sound, it plays a ding ding sound saying that you're correct. It changes the state of the check mark to be normal. In other words, this is the event that's going to cause that check mark to be visible on the screen. And then it also changes the state of the bird to be visible as well. I called that the state. I called that state correct, but I could have called it anything. I just called it correct. And when it's in the correct state, it is visible on the screen. And then each of the other four or three uh, hotspots behave the same way. Behind the scenes, there's also a big green box, and that is a hotspot too. It's called wrong. If the user clicks anywhere within this rectangle, they're going to display, well, what will the incorrect layer will display, and then you'll have to say, you know, there's a try again button, and that, which takes you back to the bird layer. And then you have to try the exercise again and try to get it right. Now, the reason why that works is because it's sitting at the bottom of all the other objects. So the birds and the check marks and the hot, the hot spots for the birds are all sitting above this wrong layer. So if you click on the correct hotspot, that, that works. If you click anywhere else, you're going to be wrong. Now, if you do finally get things right, you get to this screen, and basically it just, what it does is two things. It sets the object, uh, it sets a variable called object one to be true. Now, object one just represents that first photograph. So because you've been successful at completing the exercise, that, that object is set, or that variable is set to true. Now that matters because when you click on bird book, it's going to take you to slide two and it will display the eagle and the title here only if object one is equal to true. If it's not equal to true, then this photograph does not get filled in. And you can see I've got those uh, triggers right at the layer level over on the right hand side. And that's about it. So uh, hopefully you'll find that fun and we'll talk to you soon.